Now, you see, let me throw another thing into the mix about the gun laws. I know an outsider to America. Uh, and I mean, I'm an outsider to America. Do you know what I mean? I'm a, a British subject, a citizen. Uh, and I was an EU citizen until the idiots did that madness called Brexit, which just completely wrecked our economy. And um, why would he not? He's got Scottish blood in him. Trump has got Scottish blood. He was working. Um, yes, yes, let's not forget, Putin was working with Trump to disconnect from NATO. Well, you see, I think Trump says, uh, you know, Trump saw something in what's going on that maybe not everybody saw. You have to have eyes in the back of your head these days, I can tell you. Uh, but yes, what was I going to throw into the mix for you there? The gun lobby. So as an outsider looking at it just with a clear head, you think, what on earth are people doing with guns in this day and age in any country? But in actual fact, you look at the history of battles. Now, the Americans have been involved in a lot of battles, but none of them on American soil because they have the largest private army in the world. And if anybody attacked America on American soil, could you imagine if the gun lobby rallied in defense of America? You see? Now, there's a very interesting thought thrown into the mix by McClue. And you know, you can always argue back with me, we have R.G. Bargy on here. I am virtually the father of R.G. Bargy. There we are. I heard a, a, another talk show host using my chat the other day. Uh, Trump doesn't want a war. The man's a money-making machine. Well, Sparky Boy, there's nothing wrong with being a money-making machine if you can trickle down to the people. Why well, I've got no time for these people who are money-making machines and they, they store it all in their own house. You know what I mean? You know, they, they're, they're just misers. Have a great day, Scotty. Greenleaf, you too. Thank you for all your kindness. It works for the Swiss, says A.J. Byrne. Yes, absolutely understandable. It's no better or no worse. Uh, so there we are. Good for us, fam, chatting away their lovely stuff. None of which they've won. Uh, no, I would say that they won the Second World War along with us. Do you know what I mean? I think the Americans...